Republicans in Washington decided to change the tax code, it inadvertently eliminated the personal exemption here at the state level, meaning we could end up paying more for state taxes. New Tonight at 7, political reporter Rick Albin spent the day in Lansing to see what lawmakers are doing about it. It was just last week that Governor Snyder said there'd have to be a fix to Michigan tax code to match up with that new plan out of Washington, or it would cost taxpayers here more money. Now the House and Senate are working on it. The state exemption was based upon the federal exemption. When the federal government based it down to zero, that kind of eliminated our exemption. So. Lawton Senator Tanya Shootmaker co-sponsored legislation that would restore and ultimately raise that exemption to $5,000 in time. That would be a bigger deduction than you can currently claim at the state level. It passed unanimously. It's a fair tax cut. Every Republican, and as Senate Democratic leader Jim Ananick points out, every Democrat supported the plan, too. It's equal across the board. Everyone gets the same amount. Uh, we thought that made a lot of sense, and the conversations went really well with the majority leader, and, and we were able to support uh, Senator Brandenburg's bill and, and uh, come out of there unanimously. The bill passed in the Senate goes beyond the level called for by the governor, and it's higher than a House bill that's being put forward by the Speaker of the House. So your bill's at 48, Senate bill's at 5,000, governor was 4,500. So is it safe to think we're going to land somewhere in there? Well, uh, next week uh, we fully intend to vote on our House bills. And then uh, we'll sit with our partners in the Senate and we'll work out a compromise. I, I, I believe we're close enough that something could be worked out. Uh, again, this is about providing uh, tax relief to our hardworking citizens. At some point, the two plans will have to be reconciled. But people I talk to here think that they'll be able to come to a compromise and relatively soon. In Lansing, Rick Albin, 24-Hour News 8.